guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. I've watched our country over the last decade increasingly get smaller and smaller. Hi, I'm Jill Colvin. I am a national political reporter at the Associated Press. Uh, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is running for the Republican nomination for president in 2024. Uh, Christie is the former governor of New Jersey. He served two terms in that office. During that first term in office, he really became a star in the Republican Party. Uh, a number of very prominent uh, Republican fundraisers and Iowa activists recruited him heavily to run for president in 2012 when Mitt Romney was the party's nominee. Christie decided at that time that he was going to wait. He said he didn't feel like he was ready and instead focused on his reelection. Yes, we have some people who deal drugs. Yes, we have some people who come over here with bad intentions. There's no doubt. But the predominant reason that we have people coming over the southern border, in my opinion, illegally, is that they want to come here to work. Tomorrow, we're going to take back New Jersey for the least fortunate among us who do not want the government to fix every problem. They just want to give a hand up so they can build opportunity for themselves. Christie previously ran for president in 2016, where he also faced former President Donald Trump for the first time. And in that race, Christie spent a ton of time in New Hampshire. He held over 100 town halls in the state, but ended up coming in a disappointing sixth, and he dropped out shortly thereafter. Uh, during Trump's presidency, Christie was, was a figure who was around a lot. He served as an advisor uh, to the former president. He was nearly chosen as Trump's vice presidential candidate um, during the campaign. He helped him prepare for all of the general election debates, both in 2016 and in 2020, um, and also served various roles in the administration, including for a while on um, helping to lead uh, Trump's transition efforts in 2016 before he was uh, booted from that position. And let me tell you one other thing. You've seen when the pressure has been on, when the pressure has been on Donald Trump like it was Thursday night in those debates. But the two of them uh, really uh, broke ways after the 2020 election. Christie says the moment um, that he decided he could no longer stand by Trump um, was the day that Trump refused to accept the results of the 2020 election. And since then, Christie has become one of the most prominent Trump critics in the Republican Party. Why am I running for President of the United States? I'm running because he's let us down. Where of the leader in this country who you have handed leadership to, who has never made a mistake, who has never done anything wrong? At this point, Christie really faces an uphill uh, climb to the nomination. He's not doing particularly well in the polls. And Christie had long insisted that he would not run for president again unless he saw a path to victory. He didn't want to be a kamikaze candidate in there just to take out Trump. Nonetheless, that's what a lot of anti-Trump Republicans are hoping that he'll do. They're very much hoping that he will make it onto those debate stages, that Trump will choose to also participate in the debates, and that we'll see a real head-to-head -head with Christie taking on Trump, a former prosecutor, a former, you know, Northeastern governor who really prides himself on, on being brash and being able uh, to, to lay into people and see the two of them on stage together. There's a big argument in our country right now about whether character matters. And we have leaders who have shown us over and over again